All right, folks, good morning. Oh, I should probably start the presentation, huh? I swear I know what I'm doing. Well, if that's a lie, don't believe me for a second. All right, um, so. Good morning, good morning. We only have a few hours remaining. We'll try to keep this short. Also because it is, it's very easy. Um, but as usual, I'm Beej. Welcome to our not quite last, but reaching the end workshop. Uh, we're going to cover how to deploy Vercel. Um, quick little disclaimer, I am not a front-end engineer. Okay, I do not do front-end deployment very often, but Vercel makes it stupid easy that even a dumb dumb like me can do it. So let's go ahead and dive in. Um, we're going to go, go over like why Vercel. We're going to go over what specifically is supported, because you have to make sure that your project is compatible. Then we're going to actually deploy something. I'm going to show you how to set up preview deploys, which might have been useful to know earlier, but eh, it's fine. And then um, you're going to be like, Beach, what do we do the rest of the time? I'm going to tell you, get back to your project. You're running out of time. All right. So why Vercel? So first off, it's free for prototyping. If you're doing personal projects, if you're doing small scale stuff, it is free. If you're doing like larger company scale stuff, it is pricey. So be aware of that. Um, also, it's very easy to work with. Um, it integrates with GitHub. So if your project's on GitHub, which it probably is, uh, you can grant it permissions and it can see all your stuff and it can just automatically work. Um, oh, also it is easy. Um, not sure if I mentioned that yet. And um, Next, it, it, provide, it supports a wide variety of frameworks. So if you're doing Next.js, if you're doing Svelte, if you're doing just general Vite stuff or create React app or whatever, it supports it. Um, also, it is easy. And um, in case it wasn't clear, it's stupid easy. Um, so we're going to probably finish up in like 10 minutes. So let's see how this goes. Um, so first off, what is supported? Um, you can look in their documentation, but it's pretty much everything. Um, Next.js is kind of the recommended go-to, but they also kind of made it, so, you know. Um, but it also supports some of the less common stuff like Svelte or um, Nuxt or that kind of stuff. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any view yet, but I also did not click more frameworks, so maybe it's under there. Um, but if you if you use create react app or you're using next you're good supposedly okay so it's it's basically all the popular stuff except um like angular and view so yeah oh no 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 nah. okay so um how how do you get this going uh so there's a couple ways to do it oh one thing i forgot to mention here um, before you deploy, you probably want to create an account. You can just go to vercel.com, and you can create an account using your GitHub login. Um, and you can just you know, enter your GitHub, give it permissions to know that who you are in GitHub, and then you're good. This assumes you have done that already. So go sign up for Vercel if you're considering using it. Once you have it set up, um, there is a... Uh, they have their own CLI utility. Uh, it is called Vercel. Oh, big surprise. Um, so you can just install that as a global NPM package. Okay? And then if you just type, once you have it installed, you just type in Vercel, whack enter, and then it'll just walk you through everything. Um, now, chances are your project is on GitHub, so it'll prompt you to log in. Once you select that one, it'll open up a browser and be like, hey, log in, give Vercel permissions, all that sort of good stuff. Um, and then uh, after that, it'll let you choose like what kind of organization uh, that you want to choose, unless you don't have organizations, in which case I think it'll just skip. Um, but I have like 10 organizations, so I wasn't able to test. Um, and then it'll ask you if you want to set up and deploy your project. You just say yes. Um, and then it starts linking to stuff and all that sort of good stuff. So. That's it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Now, you, you, do, you might have to jump around and give certain permissions, but once it gives you a GitHub login, um, it may prompt you one more time for permissions. 
Um, and when you do that, I'm going to walk through this in a second. Um, but when you do that, you just click around. It's, it's very easy. Um, however, there is a little bit more work if you want to enable preview deploys. A preview deploy is, um, so Vercel, this kind of deploy here, this is kind of a manually triggered deploy. Okay, So you can just type Vercel again, hit enter, and it'll redeploy. But if you wanted to automatically do a preview deploy on every pull request, so that you know your team members can you know view the end result without having to manually deploy everything, you can do that. Otherwise, the default is it just figures out what your default main branch is, main or master or whatever, and it'll just anytime there's a change to that, it'll redeploy the um, the main site. But preview deploys are really useful for like, hey, I made a PR. Um, if you want to see how this PR renders without having to pull it, run it on your local machine, all that. You just do this one, and they can just look at it. Okay. So for preview deploys um, in the Vercel UI, and I'm going to demonstrate this in a second. Um, you'll want to, you know, select your project. There'll be an option. Uh, so you have like the whoo, so you have like the project name, and then you'll have this connect Git uh, button. You click that, choose GitHub. It'll, you know, ask you to log in, ask you to grant permissions, all this sort of good stuff. Um, you choose which GitHub repository to link it to. Um, you'll have to grant permissions, and you can either grant permissions at like the whole project level or just one, or the whole account level or just certain projects only. Um, I generally recommend certain projects only, just because good security practices minimize um, permissions as much as you call, as you can. Um, and then you can just kind of experiment, submit a pull request, and see the result. Um, and then when you submit the pull request, it'll automatically catch that you made a pull request. It will generate a preview deployment, and then it will comment in your pull request, hey, here's a preview deployment, here's a link, all this sort of good stuff. Um, so we're going to demonstrate that real quick. So if we go to Vercel, and so I cleaned out my Vercel stuff. So this is not 100% perfect, but it should look a little bit like what your account will look like after you signed, uh, after you signed up using GitHub. Um, now I get to play this whole twisting game over here. So you can just do it uh, this way too, uh, just through the UI. Um, but I was very tired and I was trying to get this done in a hurry. Um, but you can do it this way too. So let's say that um, I have some project like this. So I just. Um, by the way, I love Svelte, even though I'm not a front-end engineer, so a little bit of bias here. But I have this wonderful little Svelte project from one of their bootstrap things. And um, so I have already installed Vercel, so I did like npm install g Vercel. Everyone can see this okay? What's up? Oh, oh, geez, sorry. Right, here we go. So nice little Svelte project. Um, so. You know, it's it's a full project. It's all committed in Git. It's all on my GitHub. All that sort of good stuff. Um, then you can just do npm install g Vercel, just like we talked about. Takes a second, bro. Come on. Come on. We're in Korea, man. The internet is stupid fast. Let's go. Yeah, it's npm. <laughs> JavaScript, man. Don't 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 make me start my how much I hate JavaScript rant. Um, like these damn warnings. But anyway, um, it's not a bug; it's a feature. Um, so so Vercel is installed now, and I can just say Vercel go. And oh man. All right. Anyway, because I've already run the Vercel CLI, it's not asking me to log in. I tried to find where the configurations are so I could nuke all my login info, but I couldn't find it. So normally it would ask you, hey, do you want to log in? I showed you that screenshot where it gives the option to log in to GitHub or whatever. When you select that, it'll open a browser. You'll log in, grant the Vercel app permissions, all that sort of good stuff. But after you've logged in, you should see like, hey, do you want to set up and deploy project? Why is, uh, hold up one second. Let me just get this thing to 
to, to okay, no, auto collapse, please, thank you. Um, also, pro tip, if you're not familiar with um, command line conventions, um, when you see like a yes, no option, whichever one is the capital letter is the default. So in this case, default is yes, so I don't actually need to type anything, I can just hit enter and it'll choose the default. So I want to deploy this. Now you say, it says your project was either deleted or transferred to a new team, that's because I already deployed this project, but you shouldn't see that kind of warning. You should see the login info and then just set up and deploy. So I'll hit enter. Um, now I have multiple organizations that I've given Vercel permissions to, so that's why I get this. You may not get this prompt at all, but I'm gonna choose my personal account, not the organization. And um, it's going to ask if I want to link to an existing uh, GitHub project. Now, it might prompt me for permissions. I'm not sure. We're going to find out because I, I had to, you know, like I said, my account already existed, so I had to go undo a bunch of stuff. Um, oh, what's the name of your existing project? Oh, okay. This is different from what I did before. This is cool, I guess. Should be something like that, except, you know, I should learn to type. Everyone can see this okay, yeah? All right. No! Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Man, the demo gods had been so kind to me for all of yesterday, and now they're like, Beej, Beej. Now it's time for revenge. Um, so let's see. I am bad at knowing how to navigate efficiently on GitHub, so I'm just gonna do this. Uh, Versal deploy demo. Yeah, okay. And isn't that what I typed? Pretty sure that's what I typed. Bro, what's the name of your project info? Bro, okay. Oh, really, Beach? Come on. Oh, you know what? It might be It might be asking me, um, it might not be talking about the GitHub project, but the Vercel project, but I deleted all my Vercel projects. So this might, okay, yeah, so I messed up. Sorry. I'm sorry, guys. This demo is trash. All right, so you do this. It asks if you want to set up and deploy the current directory. Yes, I want to deploy to my personal account. Link to existing project. I do not have an existing Vercel project. You may not see this. Um, you may or may not see this. But in this case, project is referencing a Vercel project, not a GitHub project. So if you haven't deployed something to Vercel yet, you want to say no, which is the default. What's your project's name? Cool, that's what I, exactly what I want to call it. Yeah. Which directory is your code located? Um, you know, that's a good, why didn't it ask me this stuff when I was preparing for the demo? Okay, anyway. Um, now, I'm not sure if it's expecting my source directory or my root directory, so I'm just gonna guess the root directory. And I mean, well, the, the default is just current directory. But like, I don't know if it's asking where like my index.js is or if it's just looking for the, the project root. So I'm gonna guess the project root. Okay, so then the default is okay. Dot is the current directory. Dot slash is just being very clear that it's the current directory, so I'm just gonna hit enter. Yeah, why did it do this before? This is more of what I was expecting. Okay, so it recognizes that. Oh, that's interesting. So it recognizes that the build command is vite build, because uh, this project is using beat. It doesn't recognize that it's vault actually. Um, and yeah, so it doesn't recognize that it's a Svelte project. So we're gonna see how this goes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try not modifying these settings and let's see what happens. Okay, this is what I expected. So in this case, um, uh, Vercel has created this project in Vercel, my account slash that project name. And it also created a local .vercel directory. That's where it stores all of its local information, storing like, you know, which project it's referencing, basically all the local configuration stuff. And then it um, creates these two addresses for you, including a preview. And the, the, there we go, great. So now, 
Um, if we if we do this inspect. Oh wait, yeah, that's fine. This inspect will take us to the dashboard in Vercel. And yeah, there we go. So here's my Svelte project. If I click visit, there it is on the internet. This is the Svelte kind of pre-built boilerplate project. There we go. Now, that was a little less easy than I advertised, but still pretty good. And you know, it's a typical Svelte thing. We can play Svelte if we want, but we're not going to do that right now. Um, and then it also just shares you the link where you can follow that directly. Um, it should be the same link as that visit one I just clicked, but you could just share this with your team. I don't know. Bro, 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 no, not, oh, I should learn to type. Nope, I didn't copy it correctly. Well, anyway, it should be the same link as this. Yeah, it looks like it's the same link as this. So there you go. Um, now, let us say that I want to, you know, this is just deployed from my local machine. This is not hooked up to GitHub at all yet. So if I want preview deploys, if I want automatic redeploys, all this kind of stuff, that's not going to happen. So what I need to do is remember how I did this before. <laughs> right. Um, so I can go back to, my pro to the project level, because that's a specific deployment. And then I can go to settings. Um, I can go to git here, and I can say connect it to a GitHub repository. Now it's going to ask me, you know, to, you know, this is the information Git would, uh, uh, Vercel would like to see from my GitHub account. So I'm going to say yes. And then, uh, so now it's connected to my account, but it wants to see the repositories, but I don't want to Right, it wants to look at my organizations, but no, I want to connect it to my account. So it's like, hey, which, which organization? I told you I had too many organizations. I want to connect to this organization. And I only want to show it certain repositories. So I'm going to say my Vercel deploy repository. And it wants read access and read and write to like all the scary stuff, which is why you only choose certain projects rather than everything. And I'm going to say, go for it. Oh. <laughs> Security. Security is good, boys and girls, even if it creates a little bit of extra work. The extra work is worth it. And these days, it's much easier to be secure than it was in times past. Mm -hmm. All right, so now. All right, so now it sees this project, because this is the only one that I've given it permission to see. And I say connect. I say connect. There we go. And there we go. So now, let's say that, so I already made a branch here, OK? So let's say I make a new pull request. Oh, let me, let me delete this one. Sorry, this is from what I was testing earlier. Ignore this. Ignore this. I didn't properly clean stuff up. Ah, OK. Um, so I'm going to make a new pull request. I really need to uninstall this plugin. And I want to merge my new branch into main. So of course, warning me that, hey, you already have pull requests for this? But yeah, I'm going to create a new one anyway, because you know the demo. And we're going to hit create pull request. And now. There we go. A <laughs> little bit of panic for a moment there. Um, you see, Vercel just kind of jumped in here. The Vercel bot left a comment saying, like, hey, here's your Vercel project name. Um, I'm building a new version of it now. You can actually visit the preview. And this way, it's really easy for your teammates to just automatically see what changes you made. So I could just click here. Ta-da. Easy. OK, so now it's a nice way for your teammates to get a visual confirmation of whatever changes you made. Now, one thing worth mentioning. This is the hard way of doing it. Um, there is an easier way, too. So I think if I go back here. Now, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't plan for this one. So uh, in the Vercel UI, we can just instead say, hey, add new project. And we can actually create a new project, or we can import an existing one. But you know, I only gave it permissions to see certain ones. So what we can do is we can click a just GitHub app permissions. 
and you know I want to configure permissions on my account. I can just scroll down here and say, hey, I want to also allow my what was that? Uh, I don't know. Let's do intro to Git. Why not? And I can actually no no no. I should do something with a front end, but I don't do front end. Oh no! What am I gonna? Do? Oh, I can do that old Hanhok project. Oh wait, that was an organization, wasn't it? Oh no, this will work. All right, so I can give it permissions there. And now it shows up here. I can say import this project and deploy. So that's the even easier way. Um, but I like to give you options. So yeah, there we go. Oh, um, this project is actually probably not functional anyway. <laughs> so you can just ignore that. But if the project was working, you see how the easy that would have been. Okay. So um, that's pretty much it. Any questions? So honestly, I haven't used Netlify. So the question was for the benefit of online. Um, how does this compare to Netlify and Heroku, and why would you use this over them? Uh, to be perfectly honest, I, haven't, I don't have a lot of experience with either of them. Well, Heroku, last I used was like years ago. Um, so it's basically ease of setup. So yeah. The ease of setup is much, much, much easier. Also, I'm not sure how Netlify and Heroku's uh, GitHub integration is. The fact that it just jumps right into your PRs and like, hey, here's a preview and you can check it, that's super nice. Um, maybe Netlify and Heroku do that. I don't know. It's been a very long time since I've used Heroku and I haven't really used Netlify at all. Um, so also, kind of just a general principle, if there's a tool that you're familiar with already and you have a limited time, just use the tool you're familiar with. Um, but that said, if you do want to pick up something new, this is pretty easy. It's a judgment call on your part. Um, depending on how far along in your project you are, how much time you want to dedicate towards setting up nice automated deployments, all this kind of stuff, yeah, it's up to you. Um, without a whole bunch more context, I can't really give recommendations, especially because I don't know the other options too well. But I'm just giving, this is more of giving an option to people who don't know Netlify or Heroku. So, does that answer your question? Cool. Other questions? Cool. There is a whole bunch of other configuration you can do with Vercel. Um, but honestly, most of the time it's just not necessary. And uh, in case you're curious about how it actually works, um, it is running, it's just running on top of AWS which is part of why it's so expensive, because they had to pay for the AWS costs plus their automation, plus you know, being profitable. Um, but for purposes of prototyping, it doesn't matter. You're, we ha you have a single project. You don't got to worry about it. But yeah, thank you, everyone. I hope this was helpful. And uh, took a little longer than I expected, but we're still good on time. So good luck. Finish your projects. Go be awesome. And we'll see you at the next workshop. Bye.